Right, we're on. This is the best stubby holder in the whole in the whole bloody building. Don't be a wanker. Get a zanker. How good's that? Mate, we've got bloody Shane Flippo Driscoll here, mate. How are you, Colin? Nice yeah. to finally meet you in, in the flesh and bone yourself. No worries. Thanks very much for, for coming over and seeing us, mate. Oh, All the, everyone pops over. Like, there's, there's that many bloody tents you miss half the people. So, yeah, no, That's mate, true. we've come over to have a good yarn about some, uh, what you say, pra practical solutions to problems in the underground mining industry. Is that, that best explained it, mate? Oh, I reckon so, but there's a bit of a story to stubby holder if you wouldn't mind me telling you. Right, go ahead. Go we were, ahead. We're sitting here having a few beers with a couple of mates, a mate and the wife, and I'm talking about, you know, why aren't these people buying it? What a bunch of wankers. And, <laughs> and you know, he says, why don't you put that on there? He says, oh, you can't do that. But the wife, she's pretty sharp. She says, just substitute the W for the Z. Innova innovation of the spelling of wanker. I love it. <laughs> mate, flip, right, mate. We've got, we've got all the bloody gear. We've got all the gear and all the idea here. These are, uh, so I looked at this and, like, first thing I thought, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Please explain what I'm holding here, besides just a big piece of bloody metal. What do we got, bros? Well, this is to um, try and get away from the pinch point things. You always hear about the issues of that, so I've um, come up with this for um, when you're lifting pumps. So you put the chain through here, and when you go and put it onto something, you put that on there so your hand isn't being put in between the chain and the part you're lifting. And invariably, someone's going to get their fingers caught. So I've tried to uh, engineer that out, and this is what I came up with, the pump yeah. Cause we, yeah, like So that obviously works when the, the boggers are, because we've got them on the ends of the pumps for the bogger to pick up and bloody get out of the thing, because, like, you know, jump operators pulling pumps out. Unheard of these days, mate. So that's the... That could be used for the bogger, IT, whatever it is, though. Well, that's correct. You just hook it onto the front of the jumbo on the boom, or you put it on the bogger bucket, or you put it on the cage. So just, I mean, oh, I've done it a long time. You get nippers out there. You're not supposed to move the booms back then. You used to. And you go and pick the pump up, and they'll put, hold their, put their fingers back to try and grab it, and you go, oh, don't do that. So this sort of eliminates anything that could go wrong in that area. So yeah, look after the guys. This should come just factory built with the bloody pumps out of the factory attached to it, mate. That's the bloody, that, that's what we're going to get out of this, right? <laughs> uh, item number two. Now this is, I assume, a bit of a miniature version. I, I've seen these in action service hanger, eh? Yeah, this is for the 63, 63 model. So oh, we, so they, this is the actual size for a 63 yeah, mil? Yeah, well, it's, it looks small, but because so is 63. So you yeah. just put a safety clip in that, and it locks it off. So it takes away a lot of the, the things we use, chain and bloody cable hangers and all sorts of stuff. The idea about it, all I try and do is standardise. Try and get away from using all the bits and pieces that we jam down the hole just to go and start doing it properly. Yeah. One job, one thing for one job, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. There you go, because I've seen them, they, they come in the 110 mil that's version great. too, eh? Pulling bloody service hangers out of a bloody hat here, have a look at this. One. Oh, that's, no, that's the other one. Hold on. Here we go. God, a bloody, turning water into wine here, mate. <laughs> so this is the basic service hanger with a cantilever and a locking device on it. So you drop your, your pipe in there, it comes through, you just put a safety clip in there to hold it. No D shackles, no nothing. No, no tie wire or anything to no. tie it down like some people do. Eh? Yeah, get away from using all the rubbish that goes on. Like most people chain it up now, but it all just pops out in here because the chain doesn't really lock to a service hanger. So I've just come up with this to, to lock it into place. So it's a standard, easy one that everyone can use. You don't have to be over educated, you don't have to put lots of training into it. It's simple to use, and that's the idea of it all. I have I've found with service hangers something I found out early on. Uh, they, they work better this way. I bolted a couple of, couple to the wall that way. It didn't work too well. So, right, there we go. I'll tell you what, we've got some steel floating about here. Yeah, we're on to that. I've seen these floating about too. I think I saw them up at Agnew. Uh, bucked into the bloody, hammered into the wall. What do we got here? Yeah, well, well, I think we've actually got a picture. Yeah. So this is the 39mm. This goes into a rock bolt. So I've made these things uh, to... to suit the uh, mining that we use because we use stubbies and we use split sets so this is a 39 the other one here a 47 mil anchor so you would drive that into a 43 mil hole just imagine that it's a rock bolt and a stubby bolt so we'd use these in the same way you would use those ones so by driving that into the wall that holds on to the, the z pins that go on it that's and the ink and for the uh sign bars as well so this is your your main uh, stable platform that you use 
to fool the rest of the products. So this completely uh, eliminates the hassle of uh, jumbo operators being allergic to drill and pinholes. <laughs> as long as you've got the bolts there at the bottom, you're all good, eh? Well, that's true, but <laughs> you don't always have ground support that low, so you still have to, um, I'm, I'm afraid, you still have to drill pinholes because you still have to hang signs. Yeah. So, yeah. so this um, device we've got here, that is essentially used in conjunction with that to replace L-pins. L pins and pin holes, is that right? And the wedges and everything? That's exactly right, mate. Because if you get away from L pins and wooden wedges that come loose all the time, these things uh, fit in just like a split set, hold really tight. So you just slide that in the bottom. So the bogger hits it, she just swings out of the road. Ah, uh, yeah, no, nothing better than all the L pins bent over after the bogger goes and cleans them up in one bloody drive. This is like bloody bunny, underground bunnings here. This is great. <laughs> Here. This is the um, the sign bar, so you would you would hang your sign on that, so your signs would hang below this. You could put multiple signs, as we've, we've just got back here, Mick. So when you uh, if a bogger hits it, they just swing to the wall. And again, it's just a, the idea is to keep all the signs off the ground. You know how many times you go to a drive, it's on a chain, signs are covered in dirt, been blown up, destroyed. You're going to hang that up. You get bollocks because it's crap. Poor old Nipper gets it as well. So, uh, well, I was just talking to someone recently up at Platonic, and I set these up oh, about two years ago, and they're still using the same bars today. And I said, in the ore drives, because they're, they're a little bit longer, I've cut these down because people are using smaller signs. But in the uh, in the main haulage areas, they're still using them, like bogging in progress, still using them today. I, I didn't think they'd last that long, but they, they do. <laughs> More <laughs> What's this made out of? Because well, they, they look bloody durable. What's the guy? Oh, it's just a 24mm uh, round bar. It's made with uh, 345 MPA steel. So all that I make is it's 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 made to last. It's, it's not made to be destroyed and you keep buying and rebuying it. I mean, you don't make a lot of money out of it sometimes because it does last well. But we work with a lot of crap down there that doesn't last. And I'm trying to make things that do. So as you know yourself, how many times you have to keep replacing things down there, it's time consuming for you and costly for them. So you want to increase your productivity, get good gear. That's how I operate. Yeah. I oh, bloody love it. Right, what else we got on the uh, on the Bunning shop floor here? What have... We've got the knocker line tensioner. So instead of using the good old stubby and the, the L pin to do them up, just shred the knocker line through here, tie it off at each end, obviously, and just wind it up with the podgy ratchet wrench. And you don't have to worry about this taking off on you because if it comes, if, if you let go of it, it's not going anywhere because the knocker line is stuck inside here. Good. Pretty much the same as like a boat winch if you think of that concept and that's all I did was redesign the boat winch to, to do this and people use it, it goes great. Well, it takes a little bit to get used to like everything new to you but it's going to take away the danger of anything flying around and clocking in your head and I think we've well, everyone all been exposed to that and some of I've been exposed more than others with broken jaws and things, so why not do something that's safe? I mean, oh, bloody love it, right? Any more? Any more? God, you're bloody pulling shit out of your ass here. There's bloody, <laughs> bloody. There's, I don't know. I can't guess what this is. Looks like something to castrate a bull, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> one bull. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. I uh, we'll call it the Polito 110. So it's. Um, it just you slide it onto the 110 mil. And you just drag it down the drive. Like if you bloody want to stretch out poly, that's got a swivel on there and a tie off point. So when you pull up to your end, you tie that off and then you can release it back off that and just unclip it and away you go. Tie it down the hole, no cutting holes in poly pipe, just whack that puppy on there, drag it. Tell, tell a bit about your bloody history. Like, uh, what, what led you through the mining industry to come to the point of inventing all this stuff and supplying all these uh, safe. Uh, okay, what would you say? Safe solutions to underground mining problems. Best way, that's a bloody tongue twister. <laughs> well, I mean, I started underground in uh, 2000, uh, sorry, not 1980, 88. And uh, what well, was back then, you were scaling off your dirt and that sort of thing. And things have evolved a lot since then. But I was uh, 14, 14, 15 years on a jumbo. Uh, done jumbo training for a while. And I was just down there one day looking at some of the stuff that we're using and just going, Good God, why has not anyone ever come up with a solution to, to eliminate the, pro the products that we use that, that, are, that are very inefficient? And I thought, well, uh, a couple of years ago, I was made redundant, and I thought, well, I'll turn the corner, I want to do something different with my life, and I thought, bugger it, I'll try and make things that, that make um, our jobs easier and safer and more efficient too, because 
pin a jumbo operator, you, 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 you learn efficiency, otherwise you won't be any good at what you do. So that's why I came up with what I've done today. Love it. How's, how's, and how's it all going, the journey so far, mate? Are you getting a bit of traction? Where, where are we at on the bloody landscape? Oh, it's not real good. <laughs> there's, there's a couple of mobs that use it, but um, I've sort of kept it on uh, back a bit while I um, pro get the processes right, um, evolve the products to the way that I'm happy with because it's, it's my name and my reputation that goes on it so I won't let it go out there unless I'm 100% sure that it's going to work well and I'm at that stage now that's why we're at the Espo uh, today is to bloody get it out there and show the rest of the world this is what I got. Mate, this, I'll tell you what, this video is going to send it send it into the bloody stratosphere, I reckon. This is it. We're going to make it happen. Mate, thanks for, very much for letting me into the booth. Uh, look, mate, it's all bloody exciting stuff because I've seen some of it. I just, yeah, as I said, you obviously got the bloody, put the heart and soul in it. I just, yeah, everyone, pull the cobwebs out of your wallet. We're in a mining booth. Buy some shit from Zanka. Jesus Christ. Exactly. The proof is in the stubby holder. Good on you. And there's more to come. Yeah, I've got some more products coming about, so... I thought you meant more stubby older bloody slug. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that too. Thanks, man. Well, you, you, might, you might bloody make a fortune out of the stubby old. It's more... <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thanks very much for having us.